This video explains how to reproduce and fix the error message non-conformable arguments in the R programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the R code. As a first step in this tutorial, we need to create some example data, as you can see in lines two to six of the code. So in line two of the code, I'm creating a new data object called M1. So after running this line of code, you can see this data object appearing at the top right. And we can print this data object by running line three of the code. So as you can see, after running line three, our new data object M1 is a matrix that contains only one single value, the value two. In the next step, we need to create another matrix that I'm calling M2, as you can see in line five of the code. So after running this line of code, our second data object M2 is appearing at the top right, and we can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console as well. And then you can see that our second data object is a matrix with five rows and three columns. Now let's assume that we want to multiply the value two in the first matrix with our matrix object M2. Then we might try to apply the code that you can see in line eight. So in this line of code, I'm using the first data object, then I'm specifying this multiplication operator, and then I'm using the second data object. However, after executing this code, you can see that the error message error in M1 times M2 non-conformable arguments is returned. And the reason for that is that the multiplication operator that I have used in line eight of the code cannot be used to multiply a single value in one matrix with multiple values in another matrix. So if you want to do that, we need to apply the code that you can see in line 10. So in this line of code, I'm first converting our first matrix object, which contains only a single value to a vector object using the sVector function. And then I'm using this simple multiplication operator to multiply the value two in this data object with the values in our matrix object M2. So after running line 10 of the code, you can see that a proper output is returned at the bottom in the RStudio console, which shows the values in our matrix M2 multiplied with the value two. And you can see that this error message non-conformable arguments is not returned anymore. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.